need to pray for you. Yes, sir. There's a spirit of high blood. Yes. You hear yes, me? Yes. I'm seeing your, your blood boiling. Yes, it's huh? true. Yes, it's true. I'm seeing your blood boiling, and this is affecting. This is affecting you as a man. I understand, yes. Huh? So, Are you hearing me? Yes. So today I'll pray for you and God will heal you. Hey, everyone has got a demon today. Huh? You are doing what? I... Come on! Come on! You demon! I'm from Pretoria, my lord. And can you tell us the prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? Yes, the prophecy is true. I confirm it is true. Because uh, my blood was boiling and I was feeling like I'm weak. So I just confirm everything. It's tell me it's true. Yes. And for how long has this been happening to you? Uh... It's about three weeks. It's not so long time. It's about three weeks time, yes. So it was disturbing me. Always I feel like boiling, you see, yes. How was it affecting you when this thing would start to happen, when you start feeling it? It was affecting my body and even my mind because I was used to be have short tempered, you see, yes. And during the night, uh, not sleeping well, you see. That in fact, me, it affected me a lot. Yes. And did you try to go to the doctor? No, I was just feeling it normally on my body, on my own. I didn't go to the doctor. Yes. And today, now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? After the prophet pray, uh, pray, prayed for me, I just feel normal, 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 meaning I'm healed, totally healed now. I'm not feeling burning. Even when he pointed me with a finger, he called me. I must come to him. I was just feeling boiling. Yes, but now I'm, all, I'm, I'm healed now. Yes. And today that God has healed you, what are you believing God for? I, I just uh, believe in God. He's a healer. He's not a human being. God is a healer. So everybody must believe in, in God and he will be healed forever. That's what I believe. I just believe in Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. There's, there's something that is happening to you which is it's very bad. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes. I want God to help you today. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, I hear you. Because I just saw this issue of blood. It's true, man of huh? God. It's true. It's like sometimes there's nothing. Since 2002. Yeah? Since 2002. For 17 years. Yes, man of God. You can't see anything. Yes, man of God. Come. My sister, let's cancel this problem. Are you hearing me? Because there's someone who took your something. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes, I hear you, man of and God. And that person, it's like, it's like they took your underwear. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes. After they took your underwear, then your blood stopped coming out. Okay, man of God. So, but today, with the grace of this house, you got prayer yesterday. Amen. But I'm, this, I'm hearing something like Charles. He's my brother. He's also huh? here. He's my brother. He's, he's here. Also here. Yes, he's here, man of God. Let him come. Come on. Come on. Come on, you demon. 
my brother, I'm praying for your sister. There's someone that is holding you people hostage. All of you. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing you, man of God. So even you, after this, you must be serious with God. Are you hearing me? Yes, you must man be of serious God. with God. Your life is back. God bless you. Do you want me to pray for you? Yes, man of God. Lift up your hands. You are free. God bless you. Is Winfred, I come from Bumalanga in Mashishini. And can you tell us the prophecy you have received today and also confirm it? Yes, men of God have prophesied me about that I'm having the problem of not seeing menstruation. Yes, it's true. For, 12, for 17 years, I was not seeing my menstruation. And did you go to the doctor uh, concerning this problem? Yes, I did. They were even telling me that I must do operation because my tubes are blocked. Mm. So I believe that God has helped me today. I'm delivered. Was it affecting you, the fact that you were not seeing your days? Yes, it was affecting me because I was having the problem of spinal cord. I couldn't bend because my stomach was very painful. Mm. And when they told you that you have to do an operation, what is it that you decided to do? I just have a faith that because I'm seeing... Apostle helping people from the prophetic channel of charity. Then I did tell myself that even if myself I can just go there, God can help me, can heal me and deliver me. And today as the man of God has prayed for you for deliverance, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling relieved. I'm very, very much glad and I believe that everything is now fine. Amen. I want to pray for you. Yes. But this is demon of the family. Yes. Of sickness. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because I'm seeing a spirit that is killing people in your family. This is like sugar diabetes and high blood. Yes. Huh? My aunt I have. Huh? My aunt they already have. That's why I'm telling you that I'm seeing a demon that has been killing people in the family. Yeah. That is killing people high blood and sugar diabetes. Yes. Also so, my mother. Huh? Also my mother keep her Also your, your mom. Yeah. So now your auntie and your mom, they are sick of the same disease. Yeah. So I want to pray for you that God must stop this problem. Thank you, man of God. Are you hearing me? Thanks. Man. Because I'm, I, I've never seen in my life, you people I'm seeing for the first time. But it's God who knows you. Amen. And it's God who knows your pain. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Lift up your hands. Let whoever that is sick in your house, Amen. let them be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let them be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this suffering is over. You are blessed. Okay. Thanks, man. I'm a Christopher Strava, I come from Mokwete village. And can you tell us the prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? I confirm it because I uh, already is happening at my family for a long time. So I've been struggling and think, pray for God that already will relieve me in the situation that already is bad in my family. But today at least I thank God for confirmation that already is the prophet that already told us about things that already happened in my family is true. And the fact that he mentioned the issue of high blood and, and sugar diabetes in your family, were you also going through that? Yes, 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 yes. How was it affecting you? No, it's affected me in a daily day, day to day, so I pray God that already at least will answer my prayers. But today I relieved because God is on my side to change the things in my family and to make turn around in my family. And when did you find out that you were sick? 
I never do. I I suffer from my families because I'm getting the general carelessness because it's happening. Also, I see I see from my mother that already is passed because of the high blood. I already know because the blood that already is happening from my aunt and so on already will come to me. That's why I try to pray each and every day that already God will answer me. And were you praying that God should deliver your whole entire family from this generational curse of diseases? Yes, 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 yes. And I believe so 100%. God is multi and is two wonders. And also in my family, he'll do, he'll, he'll take it back through in this situation that already is happening each and every day. I thank God for that. And what is it that you believe God has done now? No, to change things in my home because it's really bad. Yeah, so that God, the hands of God, is bigger than ever that people will think. So I believe that God will change things, that people will be healed. In the name of Jesus. Thanks. Amen. You must be careful of your friends. Are you hearing me? Amen. You must be what? Careful of You must friends. be careful of your friends. Are you a Christian? Amen. Huh? Amen. From when? Um, 2008. Don't be afraid. God loves you, but be careful of friends. Because I'm just seeing some funny people around you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. And some of these people, they are not living right. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, please, from here, when you leave this place, go and check these people. Amen. Those that are not living right, Disconnect yourself with, with them. Amen. Are you hearing me? Because I'm seeing them doing funny, funny things. So go back, you check who's right and who's wrong. You'll Amen. be able to su be successful in your life. In Jesus' name. Because you need to be careful of people that are coming to you also. Oh, you hear me? Amen. You need to be careful. In Jesus' name. You are free. I'm Queen. I come from Tembisa. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Okay, I confirm the prophecy to be true. Man of God prophesied to me that I should be careful around friends, the friends around me, people around me. I should be careful of them. What is it that these people that were around you, your friends were doing that is not good? Uh, I have this closest friend of mine. Yeah, her baby is not good at all. Yeah, the, the prophecy is very true. I have this friend of mine. She's doing, she's doing reckless, reckless things. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. And how was that affecting you? It was affecting me because we are very close and I was not... Sometimes I, uh, I tell her, like, last time she stole a phone and I told her that it's wrong. We must return the phone, you know? Yeah. It's, it was affecting me and our friendship. But I told her the truth that you should return the phone. The phone is not yours. You are wrong. Yeah. And with these words of guidance that you receive from the men of God today, what is it that you have decided to do? I have decided to stay away from her, to play far away from her. Yeah. So that, my life, so that I can be successful. Because that's what men of God said. He said I must be careful around I must be careful with those kind of people so that I can be more successful in life. Yes. And as you have received your deliverance today, what are you believing God for? I'm believing God for miracles. Like, I'm believing God for, for success, for freedom, because uh, uh, my, my life was stuck. I was stuck. 
especially in my academics, I was stuck. Like as since 2012, I started uh, when I was I started studying at 2012 till now. I didn't finish, so I believe that God will remove spirit of stagnation over my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to pray for you. Are you me? I want to pray for you because they are feeding you. Are you hearing me? They are feeding you to stop everything. Yes. Yes. And God wants to give you a car. Amen. There's a car that is coming. I can see one. Huh? I can see one. You are seeing one? I can see one. I can see one. I can see one. So you don't want to have this car that is coming? Yeah. This is a nice car that is coming. I can see one, man. I can see one. Very nice. I can see one. Yes. Hmm? I can see one. I can see one. And go and among one. I can see one. I'm not praying for many things. I'm only praying for a car. So you don't want to I'm seeing I'm seeing nice. I can see one. I can see one. I can see one. If you want the car, say amen. Amen. But I'm not the one who's giving it. Hey, Rinyo, go one shot again, Abu Man. Yeah. Rinyo, go one shot again, Abu Man. I'm not the one who's giving it. Really, promotion. I can say one. There's a lot that is coming. If, if this car comes, we will show you. Even a house will come. Yeah. Even from. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, she went to apply, they rejected her. So, I can see one. Calendar this time is not going to work. Calendar. Calendar, So she oh. she went to submit the applications. You stopped everything. Hey, Muna, I have garaging a nyaka quotation. But send the email. We block the email. How? Yes. You are dangerous. I very calendar. Come on. In your stomach. Fire! You'll show me. Yes, you'll show you. Me, bury her. me, I'm a servant. You will bury her and her child. Hmm? We hate them. We will show you. We will shame you. I'm a, shame I'm you. a servant. We will shame you. There's God. Come on. Yes, yes. She's clever. We'll show you. Come on.
I'm Florence. I'm coming from Pretoria. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? I confirm the prophecy through I was told about uh, the car that God wants to give me. And I confirm it's true because I was looking for a car. And the issue of the house, I'm in the process of uh, looking for it. And it's true what I was told. W were you facing challenges concerning getting these things? Yes, I faced a lot. Even I, I was like sick. So I confirmed the prophecy true because I was sick. I didn't know what was the problem. And I was facing a lot of uh, battles. So I confirmed the prophecy is true. And for how long has this been happening? Uh, I started the issue of, uh, of the house. I think it, it started uh, in April, somewhere there. Yeah, till now. I think it's last year, but I started to be serious about it since April. And then the issue of a car also. It was the issue of last year, but I, I stopped it after I saw these battles. Then I said, let me wait, then I'll go again. So I started it again. So I was, even this next week, I was hoping to start to follow them up. And how did you feel when the men of God located you about something that you've been trying to do? Uh, I was just saying that God, if uh, God says yes, nobody can say no because I didn't tell anyone about that. Even my daughter, we didn't talk about them. But I just say, you know what, if God says yes, it will happen no matter what challenges I was facing. Because I realized when I faced this challenge, I realized that something is coming my way. But they say badly because I know if I have to get something I have to fight first then I just say just that I was not away like even the issue I, I had the calendars in my home where I was writing all I want to see them happen they fall this week all of them from 2014 until this year I didn't remove them but they just fall then when they fall I took one of this year then I put it again then I question why these things are falling then I put it again I say let me put this kind of so that I may be able to sleep mm. And now, what is it that you are believing God is going to do for your life as you have received a word of prophecy and also deliverance? I believe that all they will come to pass. I'll come back with a testimony soon. Amen. There's a lady, there's someone that is owing you money. And this person is denying to give you money, your money. Come. There's someone who owes you money. Yes, huh? of course, yes. And for them to bring it back, it's like it's becoming difficult. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. When do you want it? When Living. do you want this money? Living today. <laughs> you want it today? Yes, man of God. Huh? Huh? Yes, man of God. You want it today? Yeah, man. Because I saw money. And when I'm looking at this money, I'm hearing that this person is like, you know, when you're saying bring my money, you've got, this person is giving you problems. Yes, man, of course. Huh? Yes. And it's coming. Thank you, Lord. you demon so you don't want you don't want come on come on come on set you free you'll get your money my name is beauty mufukeng i'm come from with bank pumalang and can you tell us the prophecy that you received today and also confirm it yes the man of god says there's someone here the lady um, someone owes him owes her the money so I found out it was me. Yes, the prophecy is, is true. There is a lady owing money. In fact, there are two. So when I ask her my money, it does, 
she promised but doesn't pay me. Yeah. And for how long was he supposed to pay you? When? I think it's five months now. Five months, the other one, yes. And the fact that these people were not paying, how was it affecting you? It affects me a lot because you know what? They hate me now. There's no communication, you know? So it's affecting me because I need that money. Because I help them all heartedly because they need, they were crying that they need money. So I help them. So I expect them to pay me back the way they promised. And were you praying that uh, God should intervene in this problem? Yes, I did. Many times I did. And how did you feel when the man of God located you concerning that challenge? I feel happy. Uh, I feel happy and I trust God because I, I just think that mm, my money will be back because I trust God. Yes. My sister, I saw you, I don't know, I saw you wearing white clothes. Huh? Yes, my It's like God. sometimes you wear a blue skirt yes. with a white top. Yes. Huh? And I'm seeing people here. Sometimes like I'm seeing older people. Yes. Huh? Yes. I usually go and offer my time at uh, all ages. Uh, yes. I must go with you next time. Huh? Yeah? You want to beat me? Huh? I guess off it, I'm still talking. So, wh 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 what's wrong with you? Huh? What's wrong with you? Huh? I'm saying, what's wrong with you? Huh? So, so you don't want them I to mean, take care of the orphans? No! Huh? No! Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Hmm? Come on! Come on, you demon! In Jesus' name. <laughs> My sister, I want to tell you something. What you're doing, you're doing a very good thing. Are you hearing me? Because I saw you trying to teach some of these people, they're old people. Huh? And I'm just seeing some boards, like a room. I saw them, it's like there was a day they were holding like orange things. I don't know, it's like papers, I don't know. They were orangish. And you were wearing a white top and a blue skirt. I'm studying nursing. Huh? I'm studying nursing. Yes, but I'm seeing you going to these people of offense. Yes. So next time when you go, you must, you must tell me I'll go with you. God, and this, by doing this, we are opening doors for you, and even marriage is coming. God bless you. My name is Garabo Machal, and I'm from Timbi Season 10. And can you tell us the word of prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? Uh, uh, the man of God said to me that he sees me wearing a blue skirt and a white top and he sees me in an uh, old age. So it is true. Usually on my spare time, I usually go there and offer my services where I usually take care of them and help where I can. So it is true. And how, when did you start doing this? I started doing this... Um, I always had the love, but I started, I think, this last year, last year, that's when I started going and offering my help. And what was your prayer concerning these homeless people that you were going there to take care of? 
um, I, I always had the love of helping others. I didn't even know, I didn't even take it into consideration that God notices it. I just did it because of love. Yeah. And how do you feel that the man of God has located you today concerning it and what are you believing God for your life? Um, I'm really happy and I always wanted to have my own orphanage homes and NGOs. So I believe it's a good start. I'm grateful for that. Amen.